where we would like to be, we are certainly not where we were two and a quarter years ago. At the same time, the cost of living was substantially high with prices of basic commodities beyond the reach of many households. Today, I'm proud to report that the macroeconomic indicators point to a positive turnaround and an upward trajectory. Allow me to highlight a few milestones that underscore this progress. The shilling has stabilized significantly, appreciating from Kenya shillings 162 to the dollar in February 2024 to Kenya shillings 129 today. A remarkable gain of 20%. This recovery has restored confidence in our financial markets and significantly reduced the cost of servicing external debt, creating fiscal space for our development imperatives. Inflation has declined dramatically from 9.6% in September 2022 to 2.7% in October this year, the lowest rate in 17 years. This achievement has been the consequence of favorable weather and our deliberate efforts to support farmers with affordable inputs, including subsidized fertilizer, leading not only to increased production, but also productivity, and lowering the prices of many cereals, including maize, pulses, such as beans and peas. Our foreign exchange reserves have surged by US dollars 2.4 billion to hit a new record of US dollars 9.5 billion, providing a 4.8 month of import cover, the highest in 10 years. This resilience yields us or shields us from external shocks in the global economy and restores investor confidence. Ladies and gentlemen, interest rates are also trending downwards, reducing borrowing costs and freeing up fiscal space for growth enhancing initiatives by business. Tax revenues have grown by 11.5% in the year to June 2024, reflecting the success of our tax-based tax expansion measures. The economy continues to grow steadily, recording a 5.6% growth rate in 2023, among the highest globally. We project 5% growth this year and 5.6% growth next year. Honorable members, our efforts to secure food security and stability are already bearing fruit. Since February, we have distributed subsidized fertilizer to 6.45 million registered farmers in 45 counties, enabling them to increase their yields. And this year, we have procured and through e-vouchers distributed 7 million bags of both planting and top dressing fertilizer to boost food production across the country. This intervention will see a projected increase in maize production, for example, to a record 74 million 90 kilogram bags. We have also concluded long-term agreements with 11 suppliers of assorted fertilizers so as to make this commodity available all year round. Fertilizer for the long rains season will be stocked in outlets nationwide, ensuring our farmers are ready to plant, grow, and produce. This forward momentum will not only increase our agricultural output, but also reduce our reliance on costly food imports, securing a more self-reliant and a more prosperous Kenya. This approach, rooted in my administration's policy to support production rather than subsidize consumption, has already made food more accessible, more affordable to many households. Today, Kenya boasts substantial national stocks 47 million bags of 90 kilogram bags of maize are in our stores. 8.8 .8 million bags of beans, 10.4 million bags of wheat, and 2.1 million bags of rice. 
slowly but surely, we are building a food secure Kenya where families need not to worry or worry less about their next meal. In the sugar sector, we have achieved a historic milestone. All 17 sugar factories across Kenya are now operational, producing at impressive levels, while four new sugar factories are under construction. In July alone, domestic sugar production reached 84,000 metric tons, surpassing the national monthly consumption average of 40,000 metric tons. For the first time in recent history, Kenya is producing enough sugar to meet our local demand. This success is attributed to many factors, subsidized fertilizer for sugarcane farmers, an additional 500,000 acres that has been brought under production and improved management of the sugar sector, while which have revitalized production and brought the industry back to life. I just signed, as you know, the new sugar laws to provide further policy guidance as we seek to be a sugar exporting country shortly. In the coffee sector, we are on track to increase exports from 51,000 metric tons this year to 150,000 metric tons by 2027. The government has also raised disbursements from the Cherry uh, Advance Fund from 2.7 billion to 6 billion Kenyan shillings, complemented by an additional disbursement of 1.5 billion by the Commodities Fund. Average prices of, at the Nairobi Coffee Exchange have risen by 25%. And in the last financial year, the country produced and exported 48,000 metric tons, earning farmers, Kenya shillings, 25 billion. 